like I feel minister coming from you. I feel pastor. <laughs> I feel, and and not, I mean, it's interesting that I'm I'm on live with you listening to it, but on your mm -hmm. jazzology and on your Instagram, uh -huh. on your mm -hmm. Instagrams, you come across as a pastor, a minister, <laughs> like you're speaking the word. Now, is that acting? Now I thought I couldn't <laughs> fail because you're such a fantastic actor. So I couldn't tell if you were acting like a preacher. <laughs> But I now I'm on live with you and I'm hearing it. I'm like, he ain't got no reason to be acting for me. Word, <laughs> word. I hear it. That's what's wow. It's, 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 it's amusing, I'll say, to hear you say that because that is, is so, it must be something real to it because it is something that I hear very often. But I'm going to put it to you like this. Word is in me. I come from a woman of word. My mother, uh, who is now gone, uh, but she sat in this very room, in fact, in this very corner, uh, very often just always in what we know as the word. And then the word that is not written, but the, that relationship with God. So I come out of um, word. So there's a lot of what we call word in the context we use it. There's a lot of that in me. Here's the thing, and I'm glad you mentioned Chazology. That's why I, uh, I started that. It's new. It's a new online radio show that I have on Blog Talk uh, Radio. Um, uh, for those who don't know about it yet, Chazology is, uh, is, is, it came from me sitting with friends. Uh, I mentioned Jason White earlier, and sometimes we would go over his house, and, and, and it would be me and him and his wife and other friends, and, uh, and we would discuss you know, uh, churchism and the, and the so-called, as I say, so-called word. Um, and, and I would give my, my thoughts. And I remember Janine White saying one day, you know what, that's, your, that's that Chazology stuff right there. That's that Chazology. So that's where the name came from. So here's the thing. Um, I come out of the church uh, very sincerely. It was not a nine, Christianity, holiness, all was not a nine to five to me. It was, I was for real. I was sincere. But the reason I was sincere is because I truly believed everything that I was being taught. It wasn't until I read the Bible myself as a book that I'd never heard of, just as if I never, and I read it from cover to cover. Uh, I remember reading 10 chapters of Genesis at one time. It was then that my wheels started turning and I know that the God in me started awakening me and enlightening me to what I was not being told. And so it was a combination of what I read in the Bible itself and then what I studied about the Bible and then just what I see and trusting that I'm not crazy to see what I see right in front of me. That has evolved my theology. So I don't think that um, any of, of, of what Chazology is, except for praise and gratitude to God, that goes nowhere, no matter how intellectual I get. But I don't think that any, it, it goes with any religion. Um, it doesn't go with any organized thought. Um, so, so Chazology is a place where we can talk about just life, real stuff, what we deal with in a real way without the restrictions of doctrine. And, and you can say this, you can't say that. Uh, you never can get to the truth, to the real of something when you have to be uh, correct outside of truth, politically correct. You know, I don't, I don't know what, what that means. It's, it's, either correct or, it's either correct or it ain't. Like, what, what's pol politically just means it, it's the right or wrong thing to say under these circumstances. Well, on, Chaz on Chazology, whether you, you, I agree or not, you are free to say it as you see it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah but, but yeah, that's so, so getting back to your, your point, yes, uh, I, I have a strong relationship to what I know as God. And, and, I, and thank God, before my mom died, she said, I just want you to be able to hear. And I am able to hear. And, and of course, the quest is always to be able to obey. What does she want you to hear? She wanted me to be able to hear whatever God was saying to me. Um, that, and it's amazing because even when I started evolving theologically, which was not her theology, mm -hmm. uh, she never came down on what, 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 what was revelation to me and what I was coming into and being enlightened to. Uh, she was just hoping that what, what information I was coming across would, would only help somebody, but never bring them down based on what place they're in. Because, you know, sometimes people are not in church because of what they believe. They're in church because of what they're going through or they're in church because of whatever church does for them, but it's not always about truth. You know what I mean? And a lot of preachers don't preach based on truth. They preach based on the institution and what, what was good for the business. A lot of them, not all. So she wanted me to be able to hear what God was saying to me. And for instance, when God told me to, to move back to Philly, when I say God told me, I'm talking about, you know, God as I know it, whatever God is, it's, it, I could hear or feel, I'll say, God saying, when you're done the dream girls, uh, was it dream? Yeah. Dream girls tour, you know, 
move back to Philly. Don't get another place in New York as normal or LA, but move back to Philly. That made no sense. That's not where my, my industry was, but I obeyed that and come to find out I got to spend the last year of my mother's life with her, never knowing that she was dying. Um, you know, um, even now, like I've been following, I'm always fine. That's what's been keeping me going, being able to hear, you know, uh, as, as Oprah would call it, what's the next, next best move from here? You know, it's not about what worked yesterday. It's not about what you do, but you got to be able to hear what's right for right now. That's what makes it right. There is no right or wrong, in, in my opinion, in Chazology. What makes something right or wrong is how right or wrong it is for that, what you're dealing with, how right or wrong it is for you, or how right or wrong it is for this interview. Like, that's what makes something right or wrong. So I need to be able to hear what, what the move is, what the move is. And every time I follow what the move is, not knowing why it's the move, it without fail is revealed to be the best move for me at the time. This wow. time last year, I had just finished sleeping in my car for four months in LA. No, and, sure. only, and only close friends knew. And the only reason I didn't tell anybody, because I would, and I'm saying it now, I'll say it to everybody. But at the time, I knew that was a journey for me to go on. It wasn't a must. I did have friends who would have opened their door, but I knew that this, what I was going after, was, was for me to go out there, not burden anyone else. And during that time, it was amazing what I heard. And mm -hmm. uh, this, at this, this year, everything I thought I was losing, and I was ready to accept that, lose for the sake of what I want to gain, I actually gained everything I thought I would lose. Wow. That's powerful. 